Three points, clean sheet, uh, delighted with it. Uh, I thought first half, to be honest with you, we were, we were pretty poor. Um, didn't think we had any real control over the game. I thought the game was a lot of running around without any real quality, and yet ironically had the ball in the back of the net twice, um, but unfortunately it was disallowed. Uh, in terms of second half, I thought, I thought we controlled the game. I thought we got, we got on top of them a little bit more. I thought we put them under pressure. And then two, two very good headers, to be fair. Wonderful balls in from Harry Beaumont and Luke Dunstan. Uh, two excellent headers for Joe Sellers-West. And, and that was good because it gave us the, the much needed win. And, and like I keep saying every single week, it's just finding ways to win. And um, it's a good three points. It was always going to be tricky. They're, uh, they're a gritty side. They, they work incredibly hard. They've got loads of youthful exuberance. Um, they played us a lot of, showed us a lot of respect in terms of how they were without the ball. But ultimately, you know, we, we, we got the win and that's, that's all that matters. So, not a classic, but um, I'll take that all day long. I don't really care if the game's a classic or not. It's, uh, it's another three points, another clean sheet, and overall very, very pleased with the boys. So, nil-nil um, on a Tuesday night. Um, I've got to be honest with you. I, a lot of a lot of very disappointed faces at the end of the game, which which baffles me really, because um, if you look at our recent form, last 11 league games, that's now we're we're averaging 2.3 points a game, which if you balance that over the course of the season is is title winning form. Um, I think that's seven clean sheets in 11 now, and uh, and it's, a, it's you know it's a good win. When you look at the last six games, that's 16 points out of 18. Um, and I know that there was you know various people I spoke to after the game felt that we you know the way that they went on it was like we'd had tin hats and shields on and we were just bombarded, uh, quite the opposite in terms of how I saw it. I've watched the game back again on video. Um, and I keep trying to tell people and educate people without trying to sound pompous, but there's a big difference between defending and being out of possession. There's a huge difference in my book. Out of possession means that the opposition have got the ball, but not really doing any damage. Defending is what I call having to put blocks in, having to put last ditch tackles in, your goalkeeper having to pull yourselves out of you know, 1v1 situations. If you look at our, us over the last two months, Connor Coulson's not had a one-on-one -on -one to save. Um, he's barely having to make any saves. What he is making, to be fair to him, he's doing exceptionally well. And I'm delighted for him keeping clean sheets because he's doing what he's been asked to do. But I think he'll be the first one to tell you the saves he's making are, are pretty routine. Um, every time an oppos opposition get in and around our penalty box, there's loads of bodies in the way. Um, and we're finding ways to win and finding ways to get points. And like I said, if, I think the realism of myself is you always want maximum points, but ultimately 16 points out of 18 is a, it's a pretty decent return. And like I keep trying to say to everybody, we've got no God-given divine right to win any games at this level. You've got to enjoy them. And I see a lot of, lot of down faces, a lot of people that are just mood hoovers and energy sappers. Come on, cheer up a little bit. You know, we're, we're in a good space. We've got to remember October the 9th, we're sat here, we're bottom of the league. We've won two games all season when we took over. Now we're crying because we get a draw and we get seven points a week. Come on, you know, we're in a good space. I'm in a really, really positive space today. I'm delighted with the effort that the players are showing. I'm delighted with the way these boys are running around, throwing themselves on the way of the ball. I'm delighted the fact my goalkeeper's not busy. I'm, you know, look, possession, it's a false economy. It's the one stat I don't really give two hoots about in football, to be honest with you, because possession without purpose is pointless. You know, we've had two one-on-ones on Tuesday night and we've had their goalkeeper pull an, an incredible save off. So really, if you look at it, Conor hasn't had to do the same. He's not had to defend 1v1s. He's not had to keep us busy. The lads have done their job. That's what our defenders are there to do. So congratulations to my lads for defending. But our shape was excellent. Our distances horizontally and vertically were fantastic. Um, never felt we were in any real trouble. That's, that's the reality of the situation. So I think it was a good point. And, um, I certainly have been sleeping quite well and hopefully, as I said, we'll, we'll get back to winning ways on, on Saturday. But let's not get carried away. Let's remember that at the moment we've had a good run in, 11, in the last 11 games, but you can easily go three or four without a win if we don't hit those levels. So very much looking forward to Saturday. Looking forward to seeing some smiles on faces, you know, seeing everybody in really good places. Um, and I just hope my lads keep doing exactly what they've been doing for me all season because they've worked unbelievably hard. They continue to work hard and that's all I can ever ask of them. And Saturday will be no different. Our players, I know for a fact, will run around, will compete. And hopefully, as I said, we'll return to goals. So looking forward to it on Saturday. Bring a smile. So unfortunately, Jardel's done his, done his knee on, on Tuesday night, which well, we don't know the, the full extent of it. Um, as I said, he, he's been absolutely fantastic for me since the moment he walked in through the door. Um, and ultimately, you know, when I, when I look at Jardel, it's a big miss for us. 
But like we said from day one, it's it's one man's disappointment, it's another man's opportunity. We've got um, Manny, Liam McCrowan um, returning to training tonight. We've got Carl Faulkner returning next week. You've got Terence Mucinaripi back in on, on full contact tonight, which is great news. So proud of him in terms of how he's got on with his job. Um, we've got a lot of players now returning back to fitness, but what what I always say to players at, at, at you know, our club, it's not just a, a turn up, do one session and, and come back. Unfortunately, we've got with Liam and, and Manny that they've broken down on, on, on quite a few occasions this year. So we have to be a little bit more cautious with them. I'm certainly not going to be throwing them into the deep end. They've got to show me over the next week or two that they are fit enough to be to be considered and, and be able to deliver the intensity that, that we demand here. Um, we know they could last season. We know we've seen snippets from both this season and they're both very, very good players. Um, so we're delighted to welcome them back, but we've got to be cautious because, as I said, we're, we're at a run at the moment. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. They're, you know, you lose a player now for a couple of weeks, that's, that's six or seven games. So um, delighted we're obviously getting them back. Carl Faulkner returns back next Thursday, which is great for us. Um, we've got Dan Naylor, Sam Scott, um, and Isaac Olalei out on, on, um, on the dual reg with Oxy Jets, getting match fit as well, which is great for us and great for them. They're playing regular minutes, so the squad's looking healthy, and it will certainly be tested over the course of the next uh, the next few weeks. But that's why we recruited like we did in the summer. We wanted to make sure that we had competition for places all over the pitch. Um, and as I said, you know, as much as we're going to miss Jardel, and we, we will miss him. You know, every, anybody will miss a player of his of his levels, but uh, we have got ready-made replacements. We've got multiple players that can slot in at centre-half, um, that are centre-halves by trade. So, like I said, if you look at Ethan Creary on Tuesday night, I thought he was he was different class again. He was fantastic, him and Robbie Goodman. So, um, likely to be the same if we go with the back four on, on Saturday. We might go with the three, might go with the five, might go with whatever. I don't really care. All I care about is the three points at the end of it. Tough game. Um, when I look at the game at their place, um, was uh, was the, was the half-time team talk from me. They got very personal with, with a load of players. I thought our attitude towards the game in the first half was particularly poor. Um, it's the only time I've really had to really criticise the group like that. Um, but we got an instant reaction. I think you know Harry Bowman scored after 47 seconds of the second half. Um, the game itself was lively. I mean, there was a little kerfuffle. A um, little scuffle that ended up in two red cards. I mean, to be honest here, we looked like a load of trunks fighting outside a bar on a, on a Friday night and wasn't really that kind of game, to be honest with you. But, you know, at the end of the day, both teams finished with 10. We were quite disappointed in the end. I thought, you know, by the end of the game, we looked strong. We were definitely in the ascendancy. We had a couple of one-on-ones on the day where their goalkeeper's done really well second half. So whilst we were very fortunate to be to go in only at 1-0 down at half-time, I felt at the base of the second half, really, we, we, we were dominant. And we know we're going to have to do that again on Saturday. It's going to be tough. They're going well. You know, they're six in the league. We're, we're obviously a couple of places above them. But it's a tough game. You know, they, they've not been losing games. I think they've got four losses all season. Um, you know, we're, we're three, so it goes to show you there's nothing between the two sides. What we do know is they'll be competitive, it will be a physical encounter. We'll adjust our group accordingly. But like I say every week, I don't worry about what Leverstock Green are going to do. All I care about is what we're going to do and how we're going to impose our strengths on them. So it's going to be a tough one, but one, you know, we're back on home soil, back on home turf, and hopefully we get ourselves back winning and get some more smiles on faces. So cup semi-final, um, if I've been completely honest, it was a cup I didn't really want to be in at the start. Um, I just thought there were extra games we didn't really need with, with, with what my, my ultimate aim of the season is. But now that we're there in the semi-finals, you know, we'll do the best that we can to, to win the game. Um, it's going to be tough. As I said, they, they, they've done exceptionally well this year, Leighton. You know, you've got to give them full credit to, to the job that, that Lee's doing over there and um, they provide a, a, a genuine threat for us. Obviously, we played them in a very tight league encounter early in the season, but it feels like a lifetime ago, that game. So, um, we'll obviously be missing Robbie Goodman. He's cup tied um, for, the, for the fixture, but hopefully we'll have everybody else fit. Um, but, you know, away from home, I imagine it'll be a good crowd on a, on a Tuesday night. It'll be a bit of a, a dress rehearsal, if you like, for, uh, for a month later. Um, when we go there in the league in, in what I hope will be a, a game that defines season. So ultimately, Tuesday, it's a semi-final. Um, whilst it's a cup, I wasn't really bothered about. I'm sure when I get there, I'll be very much of the mindset that we want to win because that's what I want to do all the time. And we'll see where it takes us. But expecting a tough one, um, then, you know, there's a reason why they're, they're where they are in the league. There's a reason why they're up towards the top end of it. Um, but like I said, it'll be a, a real tough fixture. So hopefully we'll be back well on Tuesday. Hopefully we'll be back well again on Saturday. 
uh, and hopefully this time next week we'll be sitting there celebrating two wins. But uh, we know that won't be easy. It's gonna, gonna take a lot of work and uh, looking forward to, to, to working again with them tonight with the boys and getting ourselves into a good space, good headspace ready for Saturday and uh, we'll go from there.